had a secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Great. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Robin sounds like um, that kid that you don't like. I feel like you're just Ooh. hating on Robin. Well, yes, but he sounds like that guy that you don't like. That's the actor in um, Scott Pilgrim who always plays the same character in Michael every movie he's in. Yeah, where he's just like, ah, I'm Michael Cera. Well, I, I heard play that a Robin. Tiny, character. I've heard Robin's a good character in this game, so I'm giving him a chance. However, he does sound like Michael Sarah, and my hatred has been stirred. <laughs> I, I will give him a chance Ooh, too, but I do animal. think he sounds like Michael Sarah and acts like Michael Sarah. What's this? Each year, Gotham University's biology students spotlight the scientists who inspire them. Okay, I, I, that went away too quickly. Uh, this year's exhibit features Dr. Erdid Orson and Dr. Gilbert Giles' collaborative breakthroughs in cellular fusion, as well as Dr. Niles Calder. Blah, 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 neuroscience. neuroscience. Yay. Something hey, look at the fetuses. Myself. Look, look, let's do this for Scott. Great. Stop with the Minnesota Scott Jensen joke. What? People from, no one will know what it is. People from Minnesota are going to think it's hilarious. Yeah, the two people who watch from Minnesota will love it based on the YouTube ad about Scott Jensen not liking abortion. I'm sure they'll love the joke. They thought they would. Why do these guys look like the Raiders from Fallout? This is a pretty lame gang. Yeah, it is. I like how the subtitle just calls them Freak. That's pretty funny. There's only one Freak. She's pissed now. She knows Freak is from NBA 2K16. <laughs> and she's mad. What's she doing here? All right, let's see. So it's more of a dodge than a counter this time. The controls are very different than what Arkham was, because you double tapped A to evade in that one. That's true. The freaks are here? Yeah, without Batman dropping in, the freaks and all the other gangs have been running wild. Oh, they call themselves Gotham the freaks? Gotham see that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. I can't focus on George in this place with all that racket! Turn off the damn fire alarm up there! Oh, I can't so focus <laughs> on torture in this place <laughs> with all that racket. <laughs> Watch as I whip out my sacket. <laughs> I'll make you pack it right in your ass, bitch. <laughs> that's something you'd say. I like that guy on TikTok. That's, not, funny. that's not Eminem. That's Flaminem. That's true. This chick looks like one of the ugly raiders from Fallout that would, like, say, kick ass, and then you she'd immediately die to your frag grenade. That's true. Quiet. Like, Fallout 3 specifically. Yeah. <laughs> also, do any of these people realize they're burning down a building with them in it, or do they not get that part of this? Oh, well, Because you have, like, people lighting a fire on the way into the entrance. So, like, and then you have people deeper in. Ah, uh, they never were the smartest. I think it would be kind of cool if some of these people were like with ar anarchy or something. That would make sense as to why they're like weirdly suicidal. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? The takedowns are cool. I do like them. Mm -hmm. I think she looks good doing them. And I'm, I, again, I'm not trying to be mean to the game. I will say though that for me so far, the performance is a little jerkier than it was in Arkham night which was 2015 so like if you want to talk about sorry well, i had a hiccup that's fine it doesn't matter if you want to talk about oh don't compare the games they're not the same in terms of gameplay sure fine that's totally cool but what about in terms of performance and like how they got a game to run better in 2015 that to me is a little obnoxious at times i find that a little obnoxious as well yeah I mean, so far, like, I think the game's cool. I'm willing to give it a chance. I think a lot of people hated on it and didn't even play it. I think it looks awesome and, like, a lot of fun, and I think I'll really enjoy it. Um, but, like, if it weren't for, like, playing it with you because you're my favorite person in the world, I would rather just play it single player. Because, like, I'm one of those... Even doing here? This is not important. Go I'm, ahead. I'm one of those people who just hates having to involve, like, other people in my gaming experience, if that makes sense. Like, I want to be able to play everything single player. I'm not a big fan of multiplayer games. Do you not like co op, like, with anyone? Because uh, I think co op's fun. I think co op can be fun. I thought it was really fun when we played it with Nate, uh, when we played World War Z co op, mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. But 
For a lot of games like these, I guess I kind of prefer single player. You'll have to wait and see what you think when you actually start playing it with me, too. Mm hmm It depends on what it is. I always thought that it would have been really cool to have an option to play Arkham Co-op, uh -huh. like with one person being Robin. That would have been cool. I never... I always liked it when it's an option, but you don't have to do it. It would have been a good way to involve Robin in the story more. That's true. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just always thought it should be an option, but like... When, when it works, you know what I mean? Yeah, and when the FPS is high enough. Yes. Also, we are playing on normal. Mm -hmm. It just kind of seems like when there's going to be a bunch of people when the game gets harder, it's going to be a little bit hard if the game starts um, having tremors. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, I will say, though, the game is supposedly not actually that difficult, so that might help. That's true. That was cool. Yeah. I liked her splits. It's just, you can... Never mind. I wish you could make her wear a skimpier outfit. I think I'm just hating on, on the performance. Just never yeah, mind me. Well, if you do that too much, people are going to say, Why didn't you play it on PC? I had performance problems on PC, too. Yeah. No, like, actually, like, but a lot of people couldn't get it to they, run. Those PC people expect you to mod it yourself and be a tech genius. Well, a lot of people couldn't get it to run at 60 wow. on PC. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you'll break, too. Get to safety. Go! If you gotta hit once with that thing, you'd be dead. I really like that out of all four of them, she's the most like Batman, in my opinion. Because she's got, um, you know, the bat symbol and stuff on her, and, like, she does the, um, the hacking and stuff like that, just like he did. And it kind of seems like she's really good at the investigation part. So that's something I really like about her, and the fact that she kind of has similar moves to what he did. Yeah, the one thing I will say is I always wished that they would have done a little bit more focusing on Duke Thomas, um, because he was also very much Batman-y. Except he actually had some powers, too. Oh, really? And, what kind of powers? Uh, more like light-based powers, and I think they, they implied that he also could be yeah, invulnerable in terms of living forever. Wow. But uh, Duke Thomas was a really interesting character that they don't do enough with in the comics. I believe he was introduced by Scott Snyder, and he's called The Signal. Originally, he was Robin. Well, he was a Robin. Uh, and then he became the signal and he shows up sometimes in Batman comics, but they've been really inconsistent with him He's a character. I would have loved for them to draw more attention to he's also by the way like one of the few black uh, Bat family characters outside of I guess uh, Luke Fox. Oh, no or... wonder no wonder they didn't put him in the game then <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they never do anything with him But like imagine if they had done medics are on the way. What's your status? I'm good Looking forward to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon. I think they should have done these four plus that and then prioritize 60 FPS performance. They would have only put him in the game if it was still during the Black Lives Matter movement. Okay, Jill, Because come they on. could they could profit off of it. Come on, Jill. It's the truth. You're going to make people mad. It's the truth. They only put... They would only do something like that because it's profitable, not because they actually care about He's black people. He's a good people. character, though. He deserves a spotlight. Well, I agree. I'm just saying that like a lot of these companies are douchey. Well, I agree. I just think it's too bad that they didn't do anything with him. And also, they did pick like the most basic Bat family members. As much as I like these ones, like there's really no... They, there was no experimentation with the picks, you know what I mean? Because, mm -hmm. like, some other Bat Family characters, Batwoman, but we know why they didn't pick Batwoman. It's because the show crashed and burned. Yeah. Um, you know, another example would be Clayface. He actually becomes a Bat Family member. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's, he's an awesome one, too. Uh, how do I call the Bat? Oh, oh, do I have to be out here? That's not. That's outside of the playable area. Okay. That's like the uh, animus walls. Do they want me to just go here? Okay. They want me to just go there and call it in. Mm. They're trying to teach you. My mistake for going too far outside of where they wanted me to. Well, you got out of the tutorial zone. Sorry about that. I want to make her bat cycle yellow. There are different colors for them. Could you make it pink? 
I don't know how many colors you can make. I do know that the new Gotham Knights uh, comic, Gotham Knights Gilded City, I think, if you get that, you get exclusive skins for the game. Issue 1 has a new bat cycle in it that I wanted to get. Do you want to get that? I would like to get it, yeah. I want to buy that. I'm just a little bummed out because, like, I'm not I'm not going to just, like, hate the game because it's a little choppy, but, like, I can already tell it's a little choppy. I think they'll fix it in the future. Right, but people wanted us to play it now. I did a, I did a uh, poll, and, like, 85% of people wanted us to just play it now. If we really like the game and then they fix it in the future, maybe we'll come back to it when it's 60 and replay uh -huh. it. I mean, well, I think that'd be fun, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's just, that's my problem with playing games as soon as they come out. It's like, I don't really care about all the hype. I want to play the game when it's good. Well, and I agree with that. The problem is that, like, people wanted us to play it now. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to avoid fighting the cops. But I already attacked them because I thought one of them was an enemy. That's okay. And I hit him with a car. So, is this a problem that I did this? I don't know. Who cares? Whoa, jeez, this guy's got insane reaction time. I mean, look at that. Jeez, what, did he, he like, join, join the military? He should join the family. You got the right haircut. You'd work well with Jason Todd. All we have to do is pull over... Uh, never mind, I'm done. I was just gonna say, maybe he pulls over the wrong person, but all of a sudden him and Jason are doing a little team-up. Oh, no. You don't know. You don't know. What kind of team-up? I don't want to talk about that. About it. Oh, you can eject. You can, wait, you can do a range attack while... Oh, that's cool. You can do a range attack while on the bike. That is pretty cool, actually. Can she kick people while she's on the bike? Uh, I can do a wheelie. If you run into somebody, does it tase them? Uh, well, it, I did just hit a police officer with the bike on accident. And it tased him? No, I didn't just, notice. It just hit him. Oh. Whoa. So you can't kill people with the bike? No. This hurts my eyes a little bit. It hurts my eyes, too. It looks really bad. Um, this looks like ass. It doesn't look as bad in the recorder, which That's is good. interesting. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. I just thought I could go right through that. Are we just going to hate on this game the whole time? Well, I'm not trying to hate on it. I'm really excited for it, but I well, do think they should have fixed it before release, but people like kept pushing them to release it, and then they released it like a week early, and I feel like they should have postponed it for a month to make the FPS work. It was also their fault for announcing it at when they did. It was their fault for promoting it when they did. And then, like, kind of blaming COVID for, ever, like, not releasing it at the time that they planned on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of problems around it. Whee! Uh, that I think, if this had been dropped, you know, like, if this had been postponed by a year, I think the game would have severely benefited. I agree. I, I will say, if it runs like this on uh, on this, imagine what it would run like on PS4. That's true. That's probably why they made it so that you couldn't play it on those. Probably. Yeah, unfortunately, because I think that's where a lot of people were planning to play it. And this is kind of how I'd expect it to perform graphically in terms of, like, not looks, but, like, performance mm -hmm. on PS4 and Xbox One. Mm -hmm. I think that's why people have been pretty harsh on the game. Um, and I think people are also worried about it setting a precedent for frame rate that companies won't try as hard to get the frame rate running higher. Well, it's because it's harder to play the game with the frame rate looking bad and it hurts people's eyes. Like, all the people who are like, oh, well, I don't care. You're just pushing companies to not work as hard anymore. I think it's fine to enjoy the game and like it for what it is, but I do think that you should always advocate for the game to be as, be as good as it can. Yeah, because you don't want to make these people take all your money and then not give you the product as good as they could have made it. I do also think, though, making fun of the people who say they don't care isn't going to make them listen to you. I know, I'm not trying to make fun of them. I'm just trying to say, like, you know, you give $90 to a company and they think that they can do the least amount of work for it, then they're going to continue doing that. I, I agree with you. I was just saying, like, I think sometimes, and this isn't me putting words in your mouth, I think sometimes you sadly have to be careful how you word that, because if people will find an excuse to not listen to you, you know what I mean? Then they won't, but I kind of feel like that a lot of times that's their loss, because they're the ones who are going to keep getting shitty games. But you would too, then. You know what I mean? I, that's true, that's true. I guess. Hey, they're talking, they're hanging out, they're having a good time. What is with that, like, school shooter coat that Robin has on? Robin's like, I found this video of Morgan Lee on uh, Orange YouTube. Want to check it Once out? Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not going to sit and wait for her. 
whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> Move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. It's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. They don't seem all that torn up about his stuff. Well, they're 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 dealing with it their own way. What they should do is put Alfred in the costume. Hey, you know what's a weird coincidence? Hmm. The fact that Batman kind of just like randomly disappeared and Bruce Wayne died around the same time. What? Isn't that weird? What? That drive will take a while to decrypt. Any luck with the construction site? Negative. It was obviously shut down in a hurry, but no real clues as to why. Definitely nothing connecting it to this guy Langstrom. If only Bruce had had the chance to tell us what he was working on. This case? It's like reading a book with half the pages missing. If anyone can figure it out, it's you, Babs. This is a tough one. Even for Oracle. I wasn't talking about Oracle or Batgirl. I was talking about Barbara freaking Gordon. You've got this. And I've got your back every step of the way. Thanks, Dick. We'll figure this out. All of us. I like this version of Dick. He's nice. He is nice. His voice is a little interesting. Oh, that's okay. I like him. It just uh, kind of seemed like they got like the Walmart version voice actors, though. Oh, my. Well, that's not very nice. It's kind of like when you're watching like one of those Avengers shows that is um, supposed to look like it's like a part of the MCU when you're a kid, but it's not actually a part of the MCU, and all the voice actors are like trying really hard to sound like Chris Hemsworth and Chris Evans. Wait, there's but, emotes? But they're not. Also, is this Fortnite? <laughs> yeah, there's emotes. Hello! How do I open... Th oh, I guess I'll just do it over here. Sorry, I thought there was something on my actual HUD. Leveling up your character awards ability points that can be spent to learn new abilities. Spending ability points also unlocks access to new abilities. She should have a Pip-Boy. You're funny. There we go. I guess you have to go to the back computer to do all this. As you continue your investigation, each hero can unlock unique momentum abilities. Use momentum abilities with right trigger menu to unlock conditions and unlock... Okay, whatever. It's kind of annoying if you do have to go back to the computer every time you want to level up, though. Uh, I don't think it much matters because you have to do this in order to um, to like switch certain stuff and you know get that. Stuff. I like that outfit. That's cool. I do too. Yeah, that's the Beyond suit which I have because our friend Will bought us this game, which was very nice of him. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he paid to get us the deluxe edition. Do you want to wear that outfit? You want me to already? Yeah, it's cool. I want to see it. All right. Crafting, nothing for suit, nothing for mods, styles. 
colorway. Oh, nice. This is like Injustice. What's odd is I think that I already got... I thought I unlocked another one. Tribute Asylum? Yeah, you unlocked that one, the one below it, and that white one over there. Cool. Okay. Which one do you like, this one? The bottom one. You like that one? No. Yeah, that one. Isn't it cool? It's cool, but how about you wear that? I'm, I love it. I'm gonna wear... I'm gonna wear this. Okay. For now. You can change the cowl. Cool! I like that one, the one that shows her face. Same. Like, I like the base symbol. Mm -hmm. like oh, some of gloves. these are cute. I like the customization. That's pretty epic. The customization is really cool. I like it, too. I wish she could wear a cape in this outfit. Uh, I thought she might. I don't know. Maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. Let's just see. Ability acquired. Two you don't think the freak said anything? No, she'd be wearing it right now if she wore a cape. Oh. The freaks have no qualms about killing people. Still, this isn't their M.O. I doubt it was them. Great. So that just narrows it down to every other criminal in Gotham. Exactly. That's a bot. That is a bot. Hey, you want to know something else that I thought was kind of interesting? About this game? Yeah, the fact that, like, Batman, I mean, Bruce Wayne has a friend who showed up to his funeral with bright red hair, but Batman also has a friend who follows him around sometimes, who has bright red hair. No, wait a second. I don't, I don't want to talk about this. I'm just saying! Tap the AR to do nearby opportunistic crimes. So how do we glide? Do you glide in this game? I thought you could. I don't know. I Maybe only Nightwing can do that. Because doesn't he have, like, wings he can fly with? I've seen Barb do it, but maybe she can't with this suit. Oh. Uh, hold the, that button to open the back computer. Does she need a cape to glide? I don't know. I assume she'd have wings come out of her suit or something like that. Is there a controls area? Uh, I will look in just a second. It would appear there's nothing on the map yet. Also, what is a belfry? Is it like a bell tower or something? Like, what is it? I wish you didn't ask me questions that I don't know the actual definition of. Sorry, I've never heard of I wish you'd just look it. stuff up I've, yourself. I've never heard of a belfry before. Normal people just look things up. Okay, they I'll look like, it up. They don't make other people answer uh, every definition for well, them. Well, my husband knows everything, so no, I thought I'd ask him. No, no, I don't. Is there really no controls section? Controls. It's a part of a bell tower or steeple in which bells are housed. So it is a bell tower. Do you see a thing for glide? Well, let's just see what happens if I do this. Will I get hurt? Oh, she just shoots out a line at the very end of land. Nice. Let's call in the bat cycle. The only way to unlock Batgirl's glider ability is to complete knighthood missions. This includes completing a series of activities. Unlike leveling up, it doesn't scale across all characters. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, that's a crime. Well, you better go stop it, Miss Cop Lady. I wonder if she's gonna mention how her dad died. I'm also, sure it'll have to come up, won't it? I, I imagine. Is Joker in this game, by the way, or no? Uh, I think he might be mentioned, but I don't think he's in the game. So is he supposed to be, like, dead too? No, no, he's not dead. I don't know where he is. Because I know Harley Quinn shows up, and she looks, uh... Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but she's, um... Quite the... Looking lady. It's interesting. Also, this is a little hard to get used to. It's similar to Avengers Combat, actually. Mixed, oh, really? Yeah, mixed with Arkham. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the evade is weird, because you have to dodge out of the way instead of actually uh, countering. Does it feel intuitive at all? I've never played the game, so it's hard to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I it's, hard, it's hard to say until I play it more. That makes sense. It doesn't feel bad. It just feels different. Like, you, that's something different. Do you think we'll be able to counter later on in the game, or can she just not at all? No, they don't... They, I mean, I don't know if there's a move to counter, but they really just use the... Uh, they really just use their evade. Okay, so there's not really, like, countering or parrying or much. I, I don't know. 
I, I can't tell you, Jill. You're asking me to tell you stuff about a game I've never played through. Well, I was just wondering if, like, you had that, like, in the beginning of the game, or if we're going to see if we end up unlocking it or not. The second one. Okay. What happens if I do this? Oh, my. <laughs> I do like the way Gotham looks. I think it looks cool, though. I wish you got glide earlier on, like, in just the very beginning, so you could glide around and look at the whole city. Because that was something I really enjoyed in Arkham. Yeah, me too. It's like being able to glide from the very beginning. I do kind of wonder, am I just supposed to drive around and encounter crimes? I guess so. Defeat criminals to gather clues. I do like that a lot of the buildings have signs and stuff on them that say interesting things. Like, they had like a Dollar General and like an auto repair shop. It doesn't feel like it's completely dead. No, yeah, I don't, I don't think so either. I have heard criticisms that this city is a little bit like Origins. In terms of, there's not as much going on as there was in some of the Arkham cities and stuff, but we'll have to see. And I mean, where so it's far, like a little bit quieter. Yeah, so far there's stuff going on, but I haven't really found, I've only found one crime. I'm glad they didn't have another random excuse to evacuate the city, though. Yeah, I got really tired of that. That was something really dumb about Arkham. It was funny. I, I got really sick of it. However, if they didn't evacuate the city, you'd think there would be more people and cars walking around, because it's like... Not the middle of the night. I mean, I guess maybe it is. But depending on where in the U.S., um, a lot of people tend to stay up late in places like New York and New Jersey and stuff. And I thought Gotham was supposed to be based in one of those states. Maybe this is a post-COVID world where every business shuts down at 2 p.m. and then blames you for it. That makes sense. I understand now. Wait, she looks like she has a mustache right here. Don't be mean to her. Oh, it's her no, freckles. Never mind. It's her freckles. Sorry. I shouldn't be so judgmental of people. She looks cute. Hide heroes, yes, no. Facial expression. Oh, wait, you can change the facial. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, I, mean, I think I, it looks good. This is something I think every game uh, should have, like a photo mode. Uh -huh. I've never understood why they don't have it in all these games. Like, games like, so Elden Ring, for example. I understand when you're like, well, you can't pause the game. But to me, it's a little dumb that Demon Souls, for example, the remake of that, put in a a photo mode that was really great, right? Mm -hmm. And it let you pause the game, but it didn't really make it easier just because you could pause the game to take a picture. Yeah. And I don't think, you can't do it when you summon someone in. Mm -hmm. So I've never understood why you don't just add something like that into Elden Ring or these other, you know, games so that you can just take these pictures, because I think it's one of the most fun things about these types of games. Is being able to take really cool pictures of the game. Yeah, no, I know I'm a little weird. Maybe that's like odd and people don't agree with that, but I always thought it was really cool. 